Sort of format. It's important to have that good first day. It's harder to not have as many days to, to catch up. So I needed a good day, but I feel like I'm playing really well. And now that I've had like my first competitive round back after a few months, I think I'm ready to um, kind of relax and put it together, let it happen rather than force it, and, and really have a good round tomorrow. And I feel like I'm playing well, and the putter started to feel a lot better for the second half of the round. All right, the Live Golf Tour continues to get in their own way, this time removing credible author and reporter Alan Shipnuff. Uh, it's a very cool energy here. Out a bit. I thought it had a great energy throughout the day. This video obtained by CNN shows how Live Golf will be operating their business. Behind Shipnook, watching all of this go down, that would be the CEO of Live Golf, the shark, Greg Norman. Considering it is the Saudi Kingdom who is behind this league, is any of this surprising? Not in the slightest, no. Shipnook would tweet, well, a couple of he really said necklace. Necklace security dudes just physically removed me from Phil Mickelson's press conference saying they were acting on orders from their boss whom they refused to name. Greg Norman, Mohammed bin Salman, Al Capone, never a dull moment up in here. What makes this puzzling is Norman's stance because as you'll see, he is caught in a lie. Shipnook texted Norman, are you aware that I just got muscled out of Phil's press conference by a couple of your goons? Luckily for you guys, I kept my cool and de-escalated the sitch. Please call me to discuss. Norman then responded, did not hear, thanks for letting me know. Shipnook seeing the video, texted Norman back a picture of Greg right behind him. That's funny because, wrote Shipnook with the attached photo. Shipnook then tweeted mystery solved with another photo of Norman smirking as Shipnook is kicked out of the event. Which reminds us of one of the first press conferences. In a presser featuring Kevin Na and others, Associated Press Sports journalist Rob Harris tried asking a question but was cut off by a live spokesman according to ESPN's Kevin Van Valkenburg. Officials with the tour then told Harris he's not being polite. Which reminds me. Why don't you some people act? Let me ask you. you said why some don't state you act in a little more positive? It's always trying to My get you. My question to you get is. Get you, get you. Be nice. Following the polite line, Harris, per Valkenberg, was let out by security after this happened. And if unaware, take a wild guess who served as MC. What really troubles me, not about the ruling itself. If that's the ruling itself, I, I accept and respect that ruling. Oh, how big of him. Make no mistake, Sean, this is an insurrection against the Supreme Court. That would be George Bush's ex-press secretary, Ari Fleischer. Shocker, or maybe not, depending on how you view live golf these days. 11 years ago, in the midst of his career hitting the fan, Eldrick Tiger Woods hired Fleischer to help Woods make his return to the PGA Tour, where he currently still plays. At the event, Ari was asked how he squared his current relationship with Live Golf, with his past tweets claiming Saudi Arabia was spending billions to ensure Mohammed bin Salman wasn't overthrown. And wasn't this an example of that, Fleischer said. That tweet was a long, long time ago. Fleischer also does consulting for the college football playoff, which, weird. But in the words of Carlin, as to why he keeps getting these positions, it's a big club. And you ain't in it. Shipnook, it should be noted, published Mickelson's controversial comments that downplayed Saudi Arabia's human rights affronts when discussing why he would consider joining the Live Tour. His events first appeared in February. There's scary MFers to get involved with, Mickelson told Shipnook. We know they killed Jamal Khashoggi and have a horrible record on human rights. They execute people over there for being gay. Knowing all this, why would I even consider it? Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to reshape how the PGA Tour operates. Awful announcing Road of Live Golf, the entire enterprise is so obviously a shameless cash grab by aging and or irrelevant players in service of washing the image of an autocratic regime that it's hard to describe any part of it as fun. It's a perfect example of how all of this is such a mismanaged operation. Whether Shipnook was booted due to Phil's insistence or because Norman wanted to make some kind of point, it's still very, 
very bad strategy. In addition to being fairly bad optics, manhandling journalists is probably the sort of behavior Liv is supposed to be pushing out of people's minds when they think of the Saudi government. For the record, as it has been reported, Phil Mickelson received $200 million to defect from the PGA Tour, Dustin Johnson, $125 million.